Welcome to the Tangent Planes and Linear Approximations video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to get the equation of the plane tangent to a surface at some point. We'll also show you how to graph it and how to do it through first principles. Example 1. Find the equation of the plane tangent to the surface f of x comma y equals x squared plus 3y squared at the point 1, 1, 4 or x equals 1, y equals 1, and z equals 4. Step 1. Load the package student multivariable calculus. This can be done by going to tools, load package, student multivariate calculus. Going on the line below, step 2. Write the equation of the surface. And let's switch over to math mode, in which we can write our equations. So just click on this math symbol here and continue writing the function f of x comma y equals x squared plus 3 times y squared. Step 3, apply the context menu and select right hand side. Now we have the right hand side of the equation. Step 4, apply the context menu again, go to tutors, calculus multivariable, and tailor approximation. So there's tutors at the bottom there, calculus multivariable, and Taylor approximation. And we would like to know what the tangent plane is, or the equation of the tangent plane, at the point x equals 1 and y equals 1. And you might be wondering, why are we opening up the Taylor approximation tutor when we're dealing with tangent planes? It's because the tangent plane is a linear approximation given by a degree 1 Taylor polynomial. Select the order to be 1, enter 1, and click on display. And there is the plane that is tangent to the surface at x equals 1 and y equals 1. The tutor also returns the equation of the plane, which is z equals 2x plus 6y minus 4. Click on close and Maple returns the plot of the graph, including the tangent plane. Therefore, the equation of the plane tangent to the surface, f of x comma y equals x squared plus 3y squared, is z equals 2x plus 6y minus 4. Example 2. Find the equation of the plane tangent to the surface, f of x comma y equals x squared plus xy plus 2 at the point 2, 1, and 8 through first principles. The equation of the plane is written up here, which is z minus c equals fx of ab times x minus a plus fy of ab times y minus b, where c is the height of the function evaluated at the point 2, 1, and 8. fx of AB is simply the derivative of F with respect to X evaluated at AB and so forth. Right now we're in text mode. You come into math mode by clicking on this math icon over here and step one asks us to write the equation of the surface which is F of X comma Y equals X squared plus X times Y plus 2. Step 2 Apply the context menu and select right hand side. Now copy and paste the function on the line below. Step 3. Using the context menu, differentiate the right hand side of the function with respect to x. Now in order to obtain fx of ab, simply apply the context menu again and evaluate at a point, which in our case would be x equals 2 and y equals 1. Hit OK. And we see that the derivative with respect to x evaluated at that point is equal to 5. Similarly, so let's paste the function again, apply the context menu, differentiate with respect to y, context menu, evaluate at a point, we only have one choice, x equals 2, and hit OK. Now on the line below, step 5, write the equation of the plane, 
and we just copy this out, but we fill in the values. Z minus C, where C is the height of the function evaluated at the point, and it's given right here in the question, actually. Z minus 8 equals fx of AB. We found it to be equal to 5 times x minus 2 plus 2, which is fy of AB, times y minus b, which is 1. Step 6, apply the context menu, go to solve, and isolate expression for z. Therefore, the equation of the plane tangent to the surface, f of x comma y equals x squared plus xy plus 2, is z equals negative 4 plus 5x plus 2y. Thank you for viewing the Tangent Planes and Linear Approximations video tutorial.